All right, guys, so I got some different cans here, and I've been doing a little bit of uh, experimenting. And um, my next project here is, is a rollover can out of a Febreze um, spray bottle. And uh, I like the fact that they come in different colors. So, like this one here can be for a woman, and uh, it's purple. They have pink ones in several different colors. So, I thought that was a little fitting. Um, I have here some fiberglass cloth this is the type that's used for like patching uh, fiberglass body uh, for different things whether it be cars or boats or whatever so this is relatively cheap fiberglass so my plan is to uh, cut a slice of this off and try to use it uh, on the inside as a wick and I'm just gonna see what uh, what I get out of that I mean I have plenty of of standard rolled cans I've used the carbon felt before but uh, just recently got a comment from Zelf um, about his uh, cobalt blue soloist stoves and uh, it piqued my interest and uh, so I'm beginning the process of hopefully uh, replicating something similar to that stove and uh, so I'm going to be using some fiberglass this time for a wick inside. That's what he uses um, in that particular stove. So I'm going to see what the results turn out with just a standard um, rolled stove. And I'm going to top jet this one. Um, it's not going to have a pot stand uh, inserted in it. It's going to be meant uh, to be used with a separate pot stand. So... For now, this is what we got, and uh, I'm going to roll this stove, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so just wanted to take a quick look. I'm halfway through the, uh, the rolling process, and I just wanted you guys to see I have lined the inner wall with some fiberglass cloth. Got my roll started down there. Got a bunch of lubricant. Slides right on and off nice and easy. Not the most perfect roll in the world, but uh, it serves its purpose, and uh, that's all that matters to me. So, anyway, guys, uh, I'll be back with you once I finish. All right, so I have my roll done there, and then what I do is just this is a process that you've probably seen uh, some other people do, AZ Bill and such. Uh, you get a piece of PVC started in there and push it down nice and firmly, and that just helps kind of even out the inside so then you pull it back off and you're ready to start doing some uh, jetting all right so here we are we've got our trial roll here top jetted I've got uh, the fiberglass wick inside of there got just about an ounce here maybe a little bit less of denatured and just want to Try it out here and see see what kind of action we get. Typically this type of a stove will take 30, 40 seconds. And as you can see we kind of, we've got a bloom already. So that could have been, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds. I didn't time it, but it did seem shorter. For sure to me. Now, uh, it doesn't seem to be doing all that crazy of a, a burn. Maybe if it warms up just a little bit more, it might get a little bit better. But it's not bad either. Not bad. So let's see what else I can come up with here before too long. I uh, want to try to get a pot stand involved in there. I could easily do a wire pot stand, which is probably what I'm going to do with this one. But uh, in the end result, I want to be able to have um, a solid pot stand in there, kind of like the co cobalt blue. So we'll see where we end up with that this is just phase one of me trying to experiment with getting uh, some fiberglass wicking in the roll and now that it's heated up you can see it's actually it's 
putting out quite nicely. So uh, this could be a nice way to go with your uh, rolled stoves here. Uh, anyway, this is just me playing around. So I'll see you guys later. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, take care.